In writing and typography, a ligature occurs where two or more graphemes or letters are joined as a single glyph. An example is the character A as used in English, in which the letters are an E are joined. The common ampersand developed from a ligature in which the handwritten Latin letters E and T were combined. History At the origin of typographical ligatures is the simple running together of letters in manuscripts. Already the earliest known script, Sumerian cuneiform, includes many cases of character combinations that over the script's history gradually evolved from a ligature into an independent character in its own right. Ligatures figure prominently in many historical scripts, notably the Brahma Kabujidas, or the Bind Rune of the Migration Period Germanic runic inscriptions. Medieval scribes, writing in Latin, increased writing speed by combining characters and by introduction of scribal abbreviation. For example, in black letter, letters with right-facing bowls and those with left-facing bowls were written with the facing edges of the bowls superimposed. In many script forms characters such as H, M, and N had their vertical strokes superimposed. Scribes also use scribal abbreviations to avoid having to write a whole character at a stroke. Manuscripts in the 14th century employed hundreds of such abbreviations. In handwriting, a ligature is made by joining two or more characters in a way they wouldn't usually be, either by merging their parts, writing one above another or one inside another. While in printing, a ligature is a group of characters that is typeset as a unit and the characters don't have to be joined. For example, in some cases fire ligature prints letters F and I more separated than when they are typeset his separate letters. When printing with movable type was invented around 1450, typefaces included many ligatures and additional letters, as they were based on handwriting. Ligatures made printing with movable type easier, because one block would replace frequent combinations of letters and also allowed more complex and interesting character designs which would otherwise collide with one another. Ligatures began to fall out of use due to their complexity in the 20th century. Sans serif fonts, increasingly used for body texts, generally avoid ligatures, though notable exceptions include Gil Sans and Futura. Inexpensive phototype setting machines in the 1970s, which did not require journeyman knowledge or training to operate, also generally avoid them. The trend was further strengthened by the desktop publishing revolution around 1985. Early computer software in particular had no way to allow for ligature substitution, and in any case most new digital fonts did not include any ligatures, as most of the early PC development was designed for an in the English language, which already saw ligatures as optional at best. A need for ligatures was not seen. Ligature use fell as the number of employed, traditionally trained hand compositors and hot metal typesetting machine operators dropped. A designer active in the period commented that some of the world's greatest typefaces were quickly becoming some of the world's worst fonts. Ligatures have grown in popularity over the last 20 years. However, due to an increasing interest in creating computer typesetting systems that evoke classic designs and older books, one of the first computer typesetting programs to take advantage of computer-driven typesetting was the text program of Donald Nuth. Now the standard method of mathematical typesetting, its default styles are explicitly based on 19th-century models. Many new fonts feature extensive ligature sets. These include FF Scala, Syria and others by Martin Major and Heffler Text by Jonathan Heffler. Mrs. Eves by Zuzanna Lico contains a particularly large set to allow designers to create ostentatious, dramatic display text with a period feel. A parallel use of ligatures has been in the creation of script fonts that adjust letter forms to join up and simulate handwriting effectively. This increase has been caused by the increased support for other languages and alphabets in modern computing.
many of which use ligatures extensively. This has caused the development of new digital type setting techniques such as OpenType, and the incorporation of ligature support into the text display systems of OS X, Windows and applications such as Microsoft Office. An increasing modern trend is to use of TH ligature to reduce spacing between these letters, a trait with little precedent in metal type. In font programming, ligatures are separated into three groups, which can be activated separately. Standard, contextual and historical. Standard ligatures are needed to allow the font to display without errors such as collision of characters. Contextual and historic ligatures may be desired by a designer to create effects or evoke old-fashioned printing. Latin alphabet. Stylistic ligatures Many ligatures combine F with an adjacent letter. The most prominent example is Phi. The tittle of the I in many typefaces collides with the hood of the F when placed beside each other in a word and are combined into a single glyph with the tittle absorbed into the F. Other ligatures with the letter F include FJ, FL, FF, FFI, and FFL. Ligatures for FA, FA, FO, FR, FS, FEET, FB, FH, FU, FY, and for F followed by a full stop, comma, or hyphen, as well as the equivalent set for the doubled FF and FFT are also used, though are less common. These arose because with the usual type sort for lowercase f, the end of its hood is on a kern, which would be damaged by collision with raised parts of the next letter. Ligatures crossing the morpheme boundary of a composite word is sometimes considered incorrect, especially in official German orthography as outlined in the Duden. An English example of this would be ff in shelfel, a German example would be schiffart. Some computer programs provide a setting to disable ligatures for German, while some users have also written macros to identify which ligatures to disable. Turkish distinguishes dotted and dotless i. In a ligature with f and fikir, this contrast would be obscured. The phi ligature is therefore not used in Turkish typography, and neither are the ligatures like that for Florida, which would be rare anyway. Remnants of the ligatures, Z and T, TZ from Fraktur, a family of German black letter type faces, originally mandatory in Fraktur but now employed only stylistically, can be seen to this day on street signs for city squares whose name contains plats or ends in plats. Instead, the SZ ligature has merged into a single character, the German SS, see below. Sometimes ligatures for Saint, T, CH, Court, Q, U and TH are used. German SS The German SZ SS is an official letter of the alphabet in Germany and Austria. There is no general consensus about its history. Its name SZ suggests the connection of long S and Z, and the Latin script also knows a ligature of long S over round S. The latter is used as the design principle for the character in most of today's typefaces. Since German was mostly set in black letter typefaces until the 1940s, and those typefaces were never set in uppercase, a capital version of the SZ never came into common use, even though its creation was discussed since the end of the 19th century. Therefore the common replacement in uppercase typesetting was originally SZ and later SS. The SS replacement is currently the only valid speaking according to the official orthography in Germany and Austria. For German writing in Switzerland the SS is omitted altogether in favor of SS. Since 2008 the capital version of the SZ character is part of Unicode and appears in more and more typefaces. The new character has not yet entered mainstream writing. A new standardized German keyboard layout includes the capital SS since 2012. Since the end of 2010, the Standardgeros Chus für Geographische Namen suggests the new uppercase character for SS rather than replacing it with SS or SZ for geographical names. Letters and diacritics originating as ligatures as the letter W is an addition to the Latin alphabet which originated in the 7th century. The phoneme it represents was formerly written in various ways, 
In Old English the runic letter win was used, but Norman influence forced win out of use. By the 14th century, the new letter W originated as two verses or as joined together, developed into a legitimate letter with its own position in the alphabet. Because of its relative youth compared to other letters of the alphabet, only a few European languages use the letter in native words. The character e, lowercase a when used in the Danish, Norwegian, or Icelandic languages, or Old English, is not a typographic ligature. It is a distinct letter, a vowel, and when alphabetized, is given a different place in the alphabetic order. In modern English orthography a is not considered an independent letter but a spelling variant, for example, encyclopedia, versus, encyclopedia, or, encyclopedia. A comes from medieval Latin, where it was an optional ligature in some words, for example, Aeneas. It is still found as a variant in English and French but the trend has recently been towards printing the A and E separately. Similarly, O, E and O, while normally printed as ligatures in French, are wrongly replaced by component letters if technical restrictions require it. In German orthography, the umlauted vowels A, O, and U historically arose from A, O, U ligatures. It is common practice to replace them with a, o, a u digraphs when the diacritics are unavailable, for example in electronic conversation, while in alphabetic order, they are equivalent not to a, o, u, but to simple a, o, u except in phone books where they are treated as equivalent to a, o and u. The convention in Scandinavian languages is different. There the umlaut vowels are treated as independent letters with positions at the end of the alphabet. The ring diacritic used in vowels such as a likewise originated as an alligature. Before the replacement of the older AA with a became a de facto practice and a with another a on top could sometimes be used. For example in Johannes Aureus's Runa, ABC Boken. The UO ligature U in particular saw use in early modern High German, but it merged in later Germanic languages with U. It survives in Czech where it is called Kruzek. The tilde diacritic, used in Spanish as part of the letter N, representing the palatal nasal consonant, and in Portuguese for nasalization of a vowel, originated in ligatures where N followed the base letter. Espana Espana. Similarly, the circumflex in French spelling stems from the ligature of a silent S. The French, Portuguese, Catalan and Old Spanish letter C represents a C over a Z. The diacritic's name Cedilla means little Z. The letter where, used only in transliteration of the Gothic language, resembles a HW ligature. It was introduced by philologists around 1900 to replace the digraph HV formerly used to express the phoneme in question, e.g., by Min in the 1860s. The Byzantines had a unique OU ligature that, while originally based on the Greek alphabet so micron epsilon, carried over into Latin alphabets as well. This ligature is still seen today on icon artwork in Greek Orthodox churches and sometimes in graffiti or other forms of informal or decorative writing. GHA, a rarely used letter based on Q and G, was misconstrued by the ISO to be an OI ligature due to its appearance, and is thus known as OI. The International Phonetic Alphabet formerly used ligatures to represent Africate consonants, of which six are encoded in Unicode, and one fricative consonant is still represented with the ligature and the extensions to the IPA contain three more, and, rarer ligatures also exist, such as, which is used in medieval Nordic languages for, O, as well as in some orthographies of the Massachusetts language to represent, U, U, which was used in medieval Welsh to represent, L, and, symbols originating as ligatures, the most common ligature is the ampersandon, this was originally a ligature of E and T, forming the Latin word A, meaning, and, it has exactly the same use in French and in English. The ampersand comes in many different forms. 
Because of its ubiquity, it is generally no longer considered a ligature, but a logogram. Like many other ligatures, it has at times been considered a letter, in English it is pronounced and, not, a, except in the case of in C, pronounced a, etc. In most fonts, it does not immediately resemble the two letters used to form it. Although certain typefaces use the design and in the form of a ligature, Similarly, the dollar sign dollar possibly originated as a ligature but is now a logogram. The Spanish peseta was sometimes symbolized by a ligature, and the French franc was often symbolized by an FR ligature. Alchemy used a set of mostly standardized symbols, many of which were ligatures. And, in astronomy, the dwarf planet Pluto is symbolized by a place ligature. Digraphs Digraphs, such as al in Spanish or Welsh, are not ligatures in the general case as the two letters are displayed as separate glyphs. Although written together, when they are joined in handwriting or italic fonts the base form of the letters is not changed and the individual glyphs remain separate. Like some ligatures discussed above, these digraphs may or may not be considered individual letters in their respective languages. Until the 1994 spelling reform, the digraphs CH and L were considered separate letters in Spanish for collation purposes. The difference can be illustrated with the French digraph U, which is composed of the ligature O in the simplex letter U. Dutch IJ, however, is somewhat more ambiguous. Depending on the standard used, it can be considered a digraph, a ligature or a letter in itself, and its uppercase and lowercase forms are often available as a single glyph with a distinctive ligature in several professional fonts. Sans serif uppercase IJ glyphs, popular in the Netherlands, typically use a ligature resembling AU with a broken left-hand stroke, adding to the confusion. Dutch handwriting can render Y as a IJ glyph without the dots in its lowercase form and the IJ in its uppercase form looking virtually identical. When written, typed as two separate letters, both should be capitalized, or not, to form a correctly spelled word, like IJs or IJs. Latin alphabets that use special ligatures Danish and Norwegian, Faroese, French, German, Icelandic, Swedish, 